trying to put it directly on top of the center pin if they can. That is a mighty good shooting by Team Australia. Covering a piece of that center pin. Very, very good. <laughs> you can see the goodwill and the good humor between the two teams. As we heard in the warm-up interviews, pre-game interviews, they, they know each other really well. They've competed each, against each other a lot over the years. There's Holly Thompson. So the game will be played in good spirit, but it will be fiercely competitive. Now we see the officials using the laser measure having to measure it from the perimeter of the four-foot circle because that stone is actually covering the center pinhole, so they're going to triangulate the measurement. Official John Campbell pointing upwards. That tells us that Australia got the better of the pregame last stone draws, so they will enjoy last rock advantage. <laughs> and it must have been close. <laughs> it must have been close. <laughs> Overhearing Holly Thompson saying just a couple of centimeters between the two teams' last stone draws. Still needs to curl a little bit more. The weight is absolutely perfect. That's a very nice shot from Therese Westman. You see the officials coming onto the ice and they'll get their laser measuring device. Calculate the distance. With luck and with bill. Also perfectly full eight. Both our walks were full in the eighth foot. Little so bit of discussion team, here with the officials. The teams throw pre-game draw shots to determine the draw shot distance. To determine who has last rock advantage. And there seems to be some discussion and debate about the accuracy of those measurements. And that's really important, not only because it determines last stone draw, but in the case of a win-loss tie-break scenario, those draw shot distances are accumulated over the entire tournament, and that is the basis of breaking ties. What can I do? Because I really felt mine was completely fully in the eight foot, and hers also. Yeah. And our one to the button was way closer. Not entirely clear, and obviously some debate in the mind of Robert Desjardins. They thought they had the advantage in the pre freestone draw. Well, every day you come to the curling rink, you see something new. And this is a new one for me. But after some discussion, it is New Zealand that will have last stone advantage to start the game. 